Hey guys, um, I'm so happy you guys enjoyed my last video where I showed you how I rearranged my kit and organized my kit. Everyone was asking for an in-depth video on what's inside of my kit, so here I am. Woo! Kit video! Um, so I'm going to show you guys everything that's inside this big, gigantic, magical box of mine. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Drop your questions below if you have them and stay tuned. This is from Amazon and the brand is Relevio. I don't know how to pronounce it. Relevel. There we go. The extra super size large bag. And I purchased it. I was a little iffy at first because it is so huge, but it literally holds everything you would need. Um, and just keep in mind everything that I'm showing you guys in this kit today is my everyday trusty kit that I can use on any phase, any client. Um, for any typical job. Now, if I have a more editorial job or a very specific makeup job where they ask for certain colors, rhinestones, glitter, paint splatter, I don't know, I would pack my kit a little differently and tailor it to that job. But this is the kit that I can trust for almost everything and almost everyone. Well, in the top compartment, I keep some pigments. Um, I like to just keep some shimmers, eye shimmers. I have different eye glitters some Artist Couture shimmers, some MAC, Touch and Soul. Um, and then I keep some little dip brows up here and eyeliner pots, just things that I can grab here that are for the eyes. Here I have my palettes. So I have the Scott Barnes palettes. I'm sure you guys have heard about these, the blush and the bronze palettes. They're absolutely gorgeous. The blush palette, super, super pretty. Um, and I like to carry palettes like these because you can trust that you can use them for anyone. Different shades, different skin tones. That's what's great about these artist palettes. More bronzy eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona to every detail of my packaging. I keep a smoky eyeshadow palette, a more neutral eyeshadow palette, um, the one size eyeshadow palette. It's actually really awesome. The Browsings palette from Benefit, great to have. Different eyeshadow or eyebrow shades for the eyebrows. I keep some of my highlighters here, my Dior, my, pretty sure this is Givenchy, Givenchy, I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess I'm basic. Keep this view set in here. It has all different shades of lipsticks, peachy and nude tones. I have pretty much all different lipsticks, KKW, Kosas, Laura Mercier, Kylie. There's a whole bunch of different lipsticks in here. And again, I just like to keep it here because this is where I have my little palettes. Now this right here is my handy dandy disposables box. And in this disposables box, I keep an assortment of disposables, nothing too exciting, but to a makeup artist, I guess it is pretty exciting. <laughs> um, I have some spoolies i have some mini mascara wands from tools they're awesome they're these little teeny tiny mascara wands that are perfect for the under eye when you're trying to get that bottom mascara i have some lip wands also from tools and the shape of them is incredible i've never been able to find these like anywhere on amazon anywhere like that so Super cool, it has like a flat tip. Love to keep those for lip gloss application, more lip gloss wands, and some little spatulas. So always important to have these items in your kit. And I just like to keep it here so it's easy for me to grab and use. This little box here is from Muji. Um, and I meant to say this one is from Amazon. This one is from Muji. And here I keep Q-tips. I keep pointed Q-tips and mini Q-tips and cotton pads for the face. Here I also keep some Vanessa Myricks color fix glazes in the more neutral colors. Um, and sometimes I'll include some funky colors in there. All right guys, so here we have the inside of the kit and it is full of my favorite products, my current products that I use and I can trust on anybody, any skin tone at any time, honey. So let's get into it. So on this top compartment here, I keep eyeliner, lip liner, all types of liners, and I pretty much have them organized by color. So I have nude colors, I have my browns, I have some blacks, um, brown lip liners and eyeshadow liners. 
I have more neutral pinky tone liners. I have mauve, different reds and oranges. I have my little funky colors here, pink, blue, purple. Um, and here I have some eyeshadow primer from NARS. I have some eyeliner liquid liners, some KKW liners. I keep some Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks. These are so beautiful. These are in the shade Sugar Frost and Moonlight. And I love to use these specifically for the inner corner. I'll show you guys this one. Um, it has like a super shimmery, like look at that. Blinding, blinding. Um, this is the shade Moonlight. It's also pretty in the inner corner or even to highlight on the face or just use all over the eye. This one is Sugar Frost and it's this beautiful champagne. Like, are you kidding? Like, look at that. So bomb. Then here I have some of my eyebrow products. I keep some eyebrow pencils in different shades. I keep my little eyebrow pen. And you just create little lines with it. So in this little compartment, I have liquid foundations that I currently love to use. I have my Dose of Colors liquid foundations. Um, I like to keep these because they have a semi-matte to matte finish um, for my clients that want a more matte finish. It's not too drying. It doesn't look too cakey. So that's why I love it. Um, and I have all different shades of that one. I keep Laura Mercier Flawless Luminaire Foundation. This is a really pretty medium coverage foundation and it has a skin-like finish and also gives a little bit of a glow. And then, if my nails will allow me, I have the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. I'm sure you guys have heard of this foundation. It's incredible. Um, the shade range is impeccable and you can pretty much use it on anyone. I carry a few light shades medium shades and some dark shades but i pretty much make sure that they're all shades that i can mix i'm definitely a mixer type of makeup artist so as long as i have some dark shades and some medium shades and some light shades i can mix them up and customize any foundation color for my client so in this little compartment here i carry these kosas tinted face oils i added these back into my kit because they're actually really really incredible the kosas um, tinted face oil and it is an oil, it does give a very skin-like, um, dewy look, but what's incredible about it is that it could be set down with powder and look amazing. It's also amazing for photo shoots because it looks like skin, it doesn't photograph like foundation, it literally looks like the model's skin. Love it. Um, I have some Hourglass foundation sticks. These are really, really nice cream foundations, very luxurious feel, kind of just glides onto the skin and gives this like airbrush look. It's absolutely stunning. In this little guy, I have my Danessa Myricks Vision Cover Creams. I'm sure you all heard of the amazing Danessa Myricks. These foundations are incredible, and I always feel so safe having this in my kit because not only do I have every skin tone that I need, but it can pretty much achieve any coverage. You can mix it with moisturizer or oil for a more sheer coverage on the client, or you can leave it as it is for a more full coverage look, and it literally covers everything, pigmentation, acne marks, um, darkness, discolor, you, you name it. It is literally amazing. This little box here ooh, is from Tools, and it's a little organizer, and I keep my little pigmented creams here. So this is the William Tuttle Cream Foundation. This is an amazing foundation. It's considered old school, but it's really, really pretty. Very rich, but when it goes on the skin, it kind of just glides and melts in. Like, I don't know, it's, it's really, really interesting, the texture of it. Um, and it just gives like a beautiful contour. So I have Chinese too, and I have Toasted Honey, and they just give a really pretty bronze glow on the skin. Um, I recently started using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancers. All you need is a little tiny drop. It's pigmented, let's say pigmented. Like you need a little dab of this stuff and it goes, you can do a whole face with it. These little guys are the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealers. I don't use these all the time, but what I like to use these for is to cover blemishes or to just um, perfect certain areas that might have um, 
texture or maybe the foundation is not covering up um, certain spots. This stuff is full coverage, but it's matte and it's not matte in a way that it's drying. It has a very skin-like look when it dries down. So these are great for all over the face pretty much. And these are also awesome for eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow base. So in this little segment here, I have some powder blushes. I am a blush type of makeup artist, so I carry a lot of blushes. Um, I have all of my Patrick Ta blushes, super pretty. I have most of the shades, but these are the powder duos. So they have the cream and they have the powder. Um, the shades that I use the most are She's That Girl and Do We Know Her. Here I have some Danessa Myricks cream contour products. They're amazing. I so here I have my little palettes from the Artist Kit Company. I'm sure you guys have seen these as well. And if you haven't, please run to get these. Um, not only does it save you space in your kit, but they look really aesthetically pleasing. Um, and you're able to see all of your palette, um, all your colors in the palette easily. And you're able to access them easily. And they're super thin, like compared to the little view set here, which I still love for you know products that I want to store more of. This is perfect and it just takes up no space in your kit. So here I have some cream contours. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I saved room in my kit from seven containers of cream contour by using this. I have the Huda Beauty contours and some Fenty and a few others here. These are all of my Kosas blushes. They're very beautiful sheer blushes and they're really great to have for a client that doesn't want too much blush, but wants some color. These melt right into the skin. Beautiful. Then I have some more little cream blushes. I have Rare Beauty. I have Nude Sticks. So I just have a bunch of liquid blushes here that I like to use, NARS, Glossier, a few others. Um, on the side here, I have my Danessa Myricks Dew Bombs. These are also incredible. These give the skin a wet like glow. Let me show you guys. That wasn't that wasn't smart. I'm gonna swatch that somewhere else, girl. So it just gives a dewy glow on the skin. Very subtle. Very I woke up like this, just got from the spa. Just I don't know, it's really, really nice. And then I have another Vanessa Myricks palette here that's just some more cream blush colors and nude colors that you can use all over the face. So here I have different bronzers and contour powders um, and some more blushes. Oh my gosh, I have so many blushes. These are the KKW, gosh, the KKW contour powders and I like to use them occasionally um, just to chisel out the cheek a little more. I keep the Hoola bronzer, you know, this is a holy grail product. And I have the Fenty bronzers. The three current ones that I carry are Mocha Mommy, which is great for deep to dark skin tones. Um, and it just has a beautiful red, reddish undertone that just brings so much warmth into the skin. This is the Island Thing color. I'm not gonna go into these, you guys have seen these before. And this is Caramel Cutie. Um, and I feel like I can use these on all different skin tones and they just work beautifully. Here I have some of my favorite blushes. If I can get them out, please God. Oh boy. I'll add some funny music. So here is my Laura Mercier blushes. I talk about these all the time. The colors are so pretty and they're super pigmented, but not in a way that it's overwhelming. This is Peach, one of my favorites. It has like a shimmery, peachy tone. It has some flicks of glitter in there and they just look really pretty on the, on the cheeks. My favorite is Strawberry and this is the most beautiful baby pink blush and you can use it on anybody. I wouldn't even say it's a baby pink. It's kind of like a muted pink and it just looks different on every skin tone and it's beautiful. It's a very versatile universal pink in my opinion. Here on the fall sides of my kit, I have my um, powder foundations. 
and skin finishers. These are the ones that I currently carry. And like I said, these products get switched out often. So sometimes I'll carry things differently, but this is what I have right now. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Awesome Holy Grail. I have the shades one and two. I also usually have three, but I ran out. Um, I recently started using the NARS Studio Fix powders, and I just like these to brighten up the under eye area. This is in the shade NW20, and it gives this like bomb under eye highlight. I've slowly been dabbling into under eye highlight. It was never a big thing of mine, but I feel like for certain looks, it just kind of brings the look together. And because this is a full coverage powder foundation, you get that like snatched under eye. So I have this in two different shades right now. I have NW20 and NC25. So one's a more yellow tone and one is a more pink undertone. Um, and I'm gonna add some more of these in my kit in different colors as well, but I've just been testing these out. These are the Sephora Micro Smooth Finish Powders. These are amazing. They're pretty similar to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, but I feel like they have a little more coverage. And I carry these in the shade Tan, Deep, and Medium. And I feel like I'm able to use these on various skin tones. And I like to use it all over the face, sometimes under the eyes. And the skin looks beautiful, sets it down, and it still looks like skin. Never looks cakey. And then I have some Iman pressed powders. These have been in my kit for a long time. And these are beautiful for deeper skin tones. Um, so, so pretty. This is Earth Deep. And this is Earth Medium. So pretty for all over the face or to warm up the face. And yeah, those are my pressed powders. Here I have many different uh, translucent powders and I am so happy I did this because I used to carry all my translucent powders and it would take up like two of these things because I like to have many different shades for any different client that I'm gonna, that's gonna sit in my seat. Um, never want anyone to look washed out, ashy, so it's always important to have a good variety of pressed um, loose powders <laughs> um this little box here is from tools and box this little cylinder here is from tools and i have four different powders here in the lighter tones i have rcma translucent that i can use on anybody any skin tone literally completely translucent never any flashback it's an OG product, works on everyone. Laura Mercier Translucent, Huda Pound Cake, and Laura Mercier Honey. Very handy. I can use these on pretty much anyone. And then here I have some of my deeper powders um, for when I need them. I have Huda Kafuna, I have Anastasia Deep, Anastasia, Anastasia Deep Peach, and I have Fenty Honey. So I have some deeper powders here. And then I also have some of my special powders that I like to use occasionally. This is the La Mer powder and it's it's a very special powder. Um, it's not for everybody. It does have shimmer in it. I'm not sure if you can see, but it just gives like a beautiful set to the skin, um, even under the eyes. It just gives like a beautiful highlight under the eyes. And then this is the Laura Mercier Glow Powder, which is kind of similar to this, but it's a different tone and it's a little more... It's just different so i keep this here i don't use it all the time but it's nice for all over the face for glow without looking like it has too much highlighter on the skin so this is the second container and i got this one from nigel's in la and you can also go online they might have it there but i will link this on my amazon list i'm sure they have it on amazon but yeah this right here nothing makes me happier because saving space in your kit is just the best so here in this little compartment i have all my different concealers and the current concealers that i'm using i also have my p louise eyeshadow bases i use rumor four and rumor two and those are pretty much um all i need for different skin tones i like to use them occasionally um, depending on the eyeshadow look that i'm doing so the current concealers that I keep in my kit are the NARS concealers. Always, always use NARS um, for years now. I just think it's, some, it's something you can trust. You can always depend on it to work for your clients. It has medium to full coverage. Um, it's pretty semi-matte um, and it just looks like skin. And I love it. So I carry various different shades, dark, medium, light shades 
in my kit and I will probably never stop using them in my kit. I just, it's hard to find a concealer you can trust and I can always trust that one. So the other concealers in my kit are newer concealers that I've been trying and loving. Um, this is the newest concealer I've been trying. This is the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. I love this concealer so far. It has a very, I would say it's medium coverage, very buildable, and it's setting, self-setting, and it sets down by itself, even though I'll still set it with powder. Are the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealers, and they are really, really nice. I don't use these on everybody, it definitely has an interesting formula um, and it could be a little tricky to work with so I usually just put this on the face and it's one of those concealers you kind of have to let it set down a little bit before you blend it out um, or else it can get a little, I don't want to say patchy, but it just can sheer out really fast because you know Pat is all about that fresh supermodel skin so if you want it to perform a little better you have to let it sit on the skin a little bit but this gives a really really beautiful under eye and she has really really beautiful um, tones and they're really pretty they're really really nice but also carry the laura mercier flawless fusion concealer and i love this concealer for pretty much anyone but it's definitely good for someone who doesn't want to look like they're wearing a lot of makeup this concealer looks like skin has like a dewy soft texture and it's very hydrating so this is good for someone with a drier under eye and it has great coverage i i love it honestly and i also like to use it all over the face to conceal if needed because it looks like skin no concealer that i also carry is the kosas concealer and if you know me i love this concealer um it's really really pretty that is the inside of my kit and yeah this is what it looks like for now it's always changing always playing tetris in here changing things around and moving out different products and replacing them with new ones but this is what i currently carry and i'm very pleased with it